Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. All right, so I'm recording this as a rendering tutorial for you guys. You can refer back to it every time you get stuck or lost in the rendering process. Now, we need to render using Adobe Media Encoder. All right, that's also part of the Adobe Suite. You need to have this installed, please, and up to date. We'll be able to render from um, After Effects straight into Media Encoder. Now, there are some issues where some people are experiencing the um, situation where they can't render from After Effects into Media Encoder. That's fine. I'm going to record a, another short tutorial to show you what you can do to get around that after this. All right, so in terms of rendering with Adobe Media Encoder, we have Media Encoder open, we have After Effects open. We're gonna go to File, Export, and we're gonna say Add to Adobe Media Encoder. That will then be linked into Adobe Media Encoder. It can sometimes take a little while, so you just gotta wait. Uh, you usually end up putting a second one through being impatient, but then they both end up here, so that's fine. We need our <coughs> option here to be H.264, match source high bitrate. And then in this blue option here, you'll click on that. This is where you choose where you're going to render your file to. So either to your desktop or to folders somewhere. So you could say then, for example, whatever this would be, student number underscore task, save that. And then click on the little green arrow here to render it out. All right. Now, for those of you who are getting stuck with the issue of not being able to render or not being able to link your Adobe After Effects file into Media Encoder, here's what we can do. In After Effects, we're going to go File, Export, Add to Render Queue. That's going to open up a new panel in your timeline with some options over here. Now, <clears throat> under Best Settings, we can just leave that there lossless i want you guys to please put in quicktime um, dv ntsc 48 right because if you render out a lossless file your file is going to be anywhere between five and six gigs big and that is just not conducive to be submitted for any kind of work you won't be able to open or play it in anything either so this option here where it says lossless we need to click our drop down we'll select quicktime DV NTSC 48 kilohertz. Over here where it says output to, this is the name of the composition. So if I click on that blue um, name there, I can then give it a new name. So again, task, right? Choose where I'm going to render it to and I'll say save. Then I'm just going to click on the render option over here. It'll play that back for me and we'll get a lovely bell chime. All right, now, once you've rendered from <clears throat> After Effects, what you can do is open up Adobe Media Encoder, find where you sent that render, so mine was over here to the desktop, and you can actually drag and drop this into Media Encoder. You'll see that if you hover over the left side, it says drop here to add as a separate source. So you can drag and drop multiple files in on the left and they'll be added as separate files. Or if you dragged multiple files and dropped it in on the right, they will be stitched into a single video. Now, if I drag any kind of video into Adobe Media Encoder and drop it here, I can then choose the correct H.264 option, match source high bitrate, tell it where you're going to render to. So again, I'll say desktop, I'll say task final to be relabeled later, render that out. And then I have the film in the correct format. All right, so I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in class. Good luck for the rest of it. Ciao.